uh, let's get started uh, like uh, today uh, we are going to uh, uh, discuss regarding the advanced topic of css because now the css is uh, coming to end like next to one or two class we are going to complete the css part and ne next we'll going to start that bootstrap and after the bootstrap is completed we'll go to start the end of the website okay as we discussed earlier let's go and discuss about something uh, regarding this uh, new css whatever we're going to learn today okay and today's our main functionality will be in the media queries and this variable okay let me go and show you something I'm giving one example. Uh, please uh, read that one. Just a second. Okay. Just imagine you develop a develop a web application. Okay, and this is your uh, you, this is your browser. Inside that you're developing an application, and what happening? You want to make this application a theme based. Okay. Theme based means what? <clears throat> you want to develop a website like that way. Suppose you want to change the theme means you got already got the themes, right? Theme means suppose this is your website. Just example, this is your website. Okay. In this website, you can see that this menu background color is a little bit blue. Okay. This background color is a little bit blue. But just imagine someone wants to say and okay say okay just do one thing just change the background color to suppose black or red or green or something in that case what will happen you will go to the css okay you will go to this menu css and go and change this color as well as suppose just imagine you want to make this background as red and you want to make this menu color as suppose black and when you're going to mouse over this one you want to go and change the background color to some different color to doing all this thing what you need you need to change this entire and enter this css means you will go to css file where you return and you have to change this background color you have to go and change this hover color you want to go and change this text color you have to do all these things now the problem the same way, suppose uh, someone tell, okay, suppose uh, in, your, in your application nowadays, you have brand color. Brand color means, suppose just imagine Srinu brand color is red. Give me an example. Srinu technology's brand color is red. Now, what will you do? All the places. Okay. Now, suppose your brand color got changed. Okay. Now, your brand color got changed. Means, suppose brand color from red to it's now become a green. Okay. Now, what you need to do? All the places, wherever you are using the red for your brand color, now you want to change that color to green, right? It may be this place, it may be this uh, two, uh, this one, this may be your color, this may be button color, this will be this, all the things. Wherever you have uh, your brand color is used, now you want to change to different color, right? Now, that is a question to change all these things. Just imagine you have, you have developed a, app, a web application or a web page or anything. Just imagine there is a thousand page or there is a suppose 100, 100 and 100 pages are there. Are you going and change this color for each and every files? That is a question, right? First question is, are you going to change each and every page and change the color? That is a one. Second thing is, if you are going to change each and every color, just imagine how many time, how what is the time taking required to change all each and every color of this site, right? Now, in modern web technology, to solve this kind of problem means one place I will change the color throughout the application. If anywhere that color is changed, if I change that color it's going to affect all the pages means throughout the application it's not going to change each and every page manually <clears throat> okay now in css that is possible but earlier css the whole css started earlier days that is not possible now how you can do that means 
how you can do little bit more dynamic in CSS. As you learn uh, like last time, CSS is not a dynamic language. Dynamic language means it's not a interactive language. It's just you have to write a CSS tag and you have to get the query and you get the data. Like suppose uh, you want to write you want to write this CSS, CSS one, and you are setting the value. Just imagine how you can change how you can change this value whatever value you are assigning as dynamic clear what i'm trying to say it here means as i told in css where this is css tag and css value right css attribute name as css value means suppose here you can say that 50 pixel is my width and height is set but due to some reason suppose you want to change this background color from light green to green then what will do you will go you have to go instead of doing that you will go and drag somewhere you have to apply some color and do all these things right you have to do all these things just imagine same background color is applied for all the pages you will go and copy this one paste it here control find and replace it here it's up to you but just imagine in your application you have thousands of files hundred of files how can you do that you it is not possible it's possible but it's looking like taking much more time to do replace that color the size to all the places right to solve this kind of problem in CSS, there is a concept of called variable. Means, as you know, if you are from programming background, you know, if you know Java or if you know C sharp or JavaScript, anything. Variable means you can declare a variable and assign a value, and that variable is going to used in that scope, right? As you know, the programming, suppose you declare a variable. Suppose this is uh, suppose you declare a variable called so just programming in JavaScript talking suppose int uh, x equal to suppose int color equal to red just imagine okay int color equal to red now this red you can use all the places right if you you can use the red all the places same way in CSS if you want to use you want to define a color you want to define anything and you are, if you want to use that color in all the places then you have to use the concept of variable has got it means if you want to declare a variable and that variable now you can use all the places throughout your application if the variable value got changed in one place that variable is going to affect it by other places okay i gave all the background let me go and discuss showing one example okay you can see that i'm giving one example of uh, csa uh, variable <coughs> you can see i have used this uh, background color as a green okay now you will come okay no I, I just want to from green to red what i'll do i'll go to the code and change this background color as well as going to change this four color also right now in css there is a predefined function called bar bar let me show you something there is a predefined color called bar okay bar means it's if you are using the var then it's going to use the variable in this one means let me show you i have declared okay i'm going to explain all these thing details but just as of now just imagine i have defined a variable called blue to define a variable in uh, in our css you require hyphen hyphen operator means double dash operator or double hyphen operator okay hyphen hyphen two hyphen the variable name colon whatever you're going to set the value same way you can see i have defined hyphen hyphen blue then i have used this one blue color if i don't use blue you can set the blue color save it same i have defined all the whites i have defined white same way you can define all the variables wherever you want to use this variable then you have to simply use this of a background color body background color colon where what we are using previously we are using previously 
this color right that is simple are applying and paste it here that is working instead of doing that what we will do we will go and use the function called var in var in the bracket we will go and pass this variable name if I go and I can save it if I refresh you can see without changing all the places without changing the each and every places what I did if I go and only change this place then it's going to affect all the area. Clear? I'll go and discuss all these things. Anyone on, on doubt on this var one? Means you declare a variable and use that variable throughout your application. If any value got changed for this variable, it's going to affect all the places. Means wherever you're going to use that one. And what is the first benefit? The benefit will be you are not going to repeat at the same color all the places right whatever color you are using you are not going to repeat the same color all the places second thing second thing will be reusability what is reusability once you declare a variable okay then the variable you can use all the places now there is a concept then you can you will ask me what is this root okay let me before going into this root, anyone any any question on this variable? All if you want to use this uh, color, uh -huh. then we have to specify this variable, right? Where and uh, inside yes, that you we have, have to, to pass use this var function. Yeah, you have to use this var function. Inside that you have to pass this variable name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. All clear? Yeah. Let me go and discuss what is this root. Okay. People, due to you people are going to be a web developer, you have to understand how browser works. You already know that there is a browser, it will work like this way, like whatever we are going to display here, it should be displayed. But the root means, the concept of root means it's always be a global scope. Okay, let me define a scope. Okay, let me tell you what is a scope. Suppose this is a browser, okay, this is a browser, this browser, whatever content is rendering here, okay, whatever content is rendering here, inside this browser, there is a two type of scope is there, scope, you have to understand the concept of a scope, okay. scope, scope means the, the area, area means, let me explain, suppose, I will explain, this is a div, Okay, this is a div. What is the scope of this div? Div start from line number 38 and end from line number 48. Means whatever I am going to write inside this div, all the data is belongs to this scope. You will understand these things because this is a little bit programmatically. You will understand the two things as of now. Whatever is you are going to write inside this div, all the data belongs to this deep scope scope means a a area or a container or a workspace you will define a scope that scope whatever you are going to add that is belongs to that scope in programming you know that in programming you're writing suppose function you're writing a function called suppose add function suppose void add and you are doing some call back and start call back and end means this add function this add function scope is from here to here the same way in CSS, <coughs> sorry, in CSS, there is two type of scope available. One is global scope, another one is local scope. Okay, like your global variable and your suppose your um, global variable, member variable, as well as your local variable. In 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 CSS, there is a two type of variable which exist. Let me write it down here. You have to understand the variable of what is two type variable. One is global variable, global scope. Another one is local scope. Global scope means it's always be a browser. Means if you define Java in the CSS, if you define colon root, root means it's always be a browser. It's total document root. Okay. If I go and inspect okay if i go and inspect if i go to element 
and if you can see there is a concept called root root means it's always be a all the documents you can see if a mouse over root you can see that what happening it's selecting if a mouse over the root you can see that it's selecting entire window if you can see that right it's entire html is saying root means whenever you declare anything inside this root it's called as a global one always remember it's a global scope means this variable can be accessed anywhere in this page okay and if i'll go and declare any variable inside any of the element that is called a local local scope clear let me repeat it again there is a two type of scope scope means accessibility okay always remember scope means accessibility how you can going to access that one right there is a two type of scope in CSS. One is global scope, another one is a local scope. Always remember if you are using colon root, if you are using colon root, it's always a global scope. Means whatever you declare inside this, whatever you are going to declare inside this root, it's going to access throughout the page. Clear? Just a second. If you are declaring anything inside this root, it will be global uh, global scope. If you are going to declare any variable inside this uh, tag or anything, it's called as a local scope. Clear? Clear all the difference between global and local. Due to that, if you want to go and declare anything in global scope, you have to use this colon root. Then whatever you're going to add. It's going to display like this. Clear? Anyone any question? Then use this global scope. You have to use this one bar. Okay. Bar and this hyphen hyphen variable name is going to work. Clear all? Then if you want to this. use this style uh -huh. uh, for the other page, then how can we implement this? Okay. That is that okay. Okay, then now we'll go for the external CSS. Let me go and discuss all these things. Okay. You clear about this one, right? The root and this use of variable, right? Yes, what sir. is variable and what is the use of variable? Okay. Let me go. Like in like class one, we have read about three types of CSS we have, right? One is internal, one is inline, one is internal, internal external. another one is external, right? And yes. Uh, today we are going to uh, create how to create a external CSS and how to use that external CSS. Okay, just, just a second guys. Okay. <clears throat> like, let me go and as of now whatever css we have created these all css are internal css means whatever you're declaring that css is belongs to this page only means if i go and create another page this css is not going to work but actually in real programming that is not going to work means you have to create one single html file single style sheet file that style sheet file is going to work in all the places right let me go and create one external css and use that external css in our application okay let me go let me create one folder uh, called as uh, suppose external uh, external inside that let me create one file called file dot css okay as you know Actually, initial did not decide all these things. For define internal CSS, you don't require any style uh, like file format. As you know, for HTML, we require dot HTML format. The same way, if you are going to define dot. any style sheet, you require the dot CSS. Dot CSS means cascading style sheet. Okay. Now, if you want to create any CSS, just create a file with, with dot CSS format. Then you will you will get this kind of page. Okay. Then here, just imagine you have to define background. Okay, just define body, background, color, suppose red. Just example. Okay. 
we start from the, the basic one then we'll go for one by one here now you de declare a style sheet inside style sheet i will define a body and background color is red now you'll ask why i'm not using this style tag always remember this style tag is only used when you are using the internal css always remember when you are using internal css means the same page css is going to write then you have to use this style if you want to create a separate style sheet then no need to use any kind of style tag you have to write the pre code here so already the browser is know that okay you are writing already the browser knows that you are already writing this css one okay now we'll go use this file okay use this style.css in your application for that let me go and create suppose uh, index.html for example sir even if you use this style tag then it will be problem or not a problem no no this is actually not a format suppose if you're using style actually it's not you can see it's giving the error you cannot use that is that that is not a use that is that's the reason we have three type of syntax right inline um, uh, yes, internal sir. and external in external we cannot use this style one it's only required this kind of tag not required style one if you're using it's yes, error right. <clears throat> okay okay sir. then what happen you declare a style sheet inside that you have declared one body a body background color is red now if you i'm i'm a, i'm creating another file called index.html inside that i want to what i'll do suppose i want to make this this uh, whatever file i've opened i want to make the background color as red then what will happen i'll go simple go it here and as you know i write the same syntax we have to copy paste here copy paste the same thing and paste it here once you load it's going to display the background color as red but imagine i have four files index one index two about us contact us etc 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 are you going to design set this background color in all the pages no it's not required right if that is a required then you have to create all the css one page to solve this kind of problem means reusability of a style then you have you need this external css whatever you created right means you create a file and now we will inject this file into our css then let me just show you something <clears throat> external i have indexed html you can see the background is normal default white to use the external css we have to use the link attribute you people know link attribute initially we have used to link the fab icon okay initial days when you discuss about this fab icon uh, i forgot where it was okay color forget when you are using this fab icon like we have you know we have changed this this icon that time we have used this link one okay the link one the link that time we have used the concept of rel rel stand for relation now that time we have start the relation equal to icon that's it for, yeah initially added icon to set the that our fab icon but here you have to use style set suppose now now you want to add this file here right for that reason we have href href means hyper reference right href means hyper reference then here you will simply add the style dot css right then if you go and refresh you can see the background color getting red means what you do it here let me go and create another file called index2 index2.html let me write something here h1 index1 here html h1 index2 let me go copy this one and paste it here yes i go i have index2 if you open you can see index1 red index2 red 
if you want to change okay instead of background red i want to use another color simply i'll go here and change to suppose a different color okay whatever color when you refresh you can see it's getting change that is the beauty of external css <coughs> declare a file and use this file all the places using this tag link relation style sheet relation equal style sheet then href equal to file name then whatever style sheet you have added in this style it's going to use here okay that is the use the same thing let me tell you what we, what we discuss we discuss the concept of root right let me go and discuss root equal to suppose uh, bg color first example i'm defining bg color means background color equal to suppose same one uh, has suppose d d d d right if i did, did, did here what i did i have instead of that i have used bar bg color right let me refresh you can okay let me change to another color suppose red um, blue I see that okay now what you need to do now okay in this page okay you clear right i have used a root root where a root means global scope inside that i have created a variable called bg color and send this bg color here if i go index one or index two if i refresh you can see that now what you need to do now the concept okay in the second page second page i don't want to use this background color now that is a problem what is the problem the problem is now you have to you can see that either you have to remove this style sheet here okay remove the style sheet here if you're going to remove the style sheet just imagine this is only sing, single tag right you are going to write your entire application code here so that is not possible means that is not a possible that you are going to enter remove this style sheet here the only thing is the override okay now i'll ask you what is override override means you will go and change this background color from this page to different value Me meaning let me define let me let me define style okay here body i what i'll do i'll do bg color was red and background color arrow and see that what i did i have did what i did whatever color i have okay i have borrowed that color to this name i have bg also there okay no issue only i did i have changed this bg color to red then what will happen you can use the bg color all the places this is the only example where you can override override means whatever the default value of a bg color you need to override that color in your page based on the requirement <clears throat> let me go place it top of here is that going to work how can we use this same uh, same uh, same concept in inline css Inline color, the BG color. Let me yes, go. Sir. Yeah, let you have me to define go. this BG color also. Okay, let me go and add style. Uh, let me remove here. Okay, let me remove this one because background. Okay, oh, style. Okay, then background color bar of hyphen hyphen BG color. Okay, style width. Sorry, width PPX and height. Okay. 
do one thing uh, <coughs> let me define another color called as suppose uh, area color just example area color as suppose uh, pink just example pink okay now let me use this area color here same use nothing changes whatever you are using right same over you have to use this area color got it all are giving a functional to write it's a inline one it's a uh, it's a inline this is the internal this is the external all are places you are using this one the main uh, like whatever context we have you are going to use the uh, colors the size all these things in dynamically and you have to de declare one file in that file you are using all the constant because suppose your brand color your brand brand secondary color your brand and this active color inactive color button color because in future if you are going to develop all this application you have to know what are different different type of color depending all the colors one different color no need to use the same color uh, value in all the places just use this variable and if in future if you are going to change this color only change this one okay then based on that what will happen your value or the color getting changed now you will ask how i can create a theme theme means just imagine you want to create based on the user selection you want to change suppose uh, suppose um, white theme or black theme like nowadays you say dark theme and a, and a day theme or light theme in that case what you need to do you have to create a css i'm giving this idea i'm not going to do all these things you have to create two file okay what is the two file you have to create file call suppose um, uh, suppose style.css and you have to design two file one is dark css another one is light css in dark css we are going to define all the root color of dark and in the so light CSS, we are going to define all the light CSS for root. Then, what will happen? In, best, in the JavaScript, we are going to write the code dynamically based on the user selection. That file is going to load. Okay, that too you can achieve in JavaScript. I am just taking, I am just saying how you can change the theme based on the user selection. For that reason, if you are going to create in future different different kind of a themes then that is the use of concept of var means var is used to use this variable based on the dynamic one that is the only option you can use you can create the dynamic thing using the var okay that is exercise for you how you can go and create all these things it up to you how you can use that but you have to always remember there is a two type of scope one is a global scope and is a local scope global scope is going to define in, in colon root Inside that whatever you are going to define variable, you have to use hyphen hyphen uh, variable name and variable value. If I am going to use this variable value, just use the var function and inside that you have to pass the variable name. Automatically browser is going to use this is the things. Okay. Clear. <clears throat> Anyone any question on this? All clear? Sir, what, sir, what was the assignment? Can you tell me again? Uh, yes, yes. What I'm trying to say, actually, you can. Uh, what I'm trying to say, just um, create two theme. If I'm going to import one file, just imagine you create a website. Okay, just imagine you are creating one website. Any website. Just imagine this is a website, and this is just imagine it's your blue theme, and you suppose create a red theme, and create another color, suppose black theme or blue theme. If you go and change only the file here, only the color color file here. You no need to change any code of the site. Let me say it again. I, I painted something. Okay. Suppose you are developing this site. Okay. And in the site, you have two color. One is light, another is dark. Light, another is dark. Now, what I'm trying to say it here, just create, just create your two color files, two root files. One is light, one is dark and design one website if i changed if i changed here instead of this if i use here suppose light.css then i no need to change anything in this place only if i change light 
the entire application will treat as a light if i change light to dark then only what will happen i don't want to change anything all the side become a dark dot css means you need to design your your css in such a way if i import this variable one if i import this variable file i no need to change entire thing only instead of this value only instead of this different type of like our <coughs> css right this is a task for you you have to create two theme one is light theme one is dark theme based on this file whatever you import your application should work that way but just imagine you have to no touch or any places only you have to change this file let's see how many how we are going to do that okay let me go and discuss about another stuff it's called media queries okay what is media query let me go and open one of the site called suppose angular.io you can see that in the site you can see I have a menu top of that is the menu and I have content it I have, I have some content here right let me inspect it and open this in a mobile browser you know to discuss how to use this uh, uh, developer tools here we have a called as this emulator toggle uh, device toolbar if you click it here if I go and click suppose iPhone let it be pixel 5 Pixel 5 you can see, let me open the same angular side another tab. You can see, I have all this menu, all this menu here, but here you can see there is no menu, right? What happened? Uh, this, 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 instead of, this is a logo and this menu got hide and this uh, search bar here and I have only this one and GitHub link, right? I will get uh, this uh, theme link and okay i'll show you so before going into that you can see that in angular giving two type of theme one is light theme one is dark theme. if i click it here theme right if i click it theme you can see that all the things belongs to the dark one right now that is the use of css the, uh, you are saying they are going to write the, all the code from all the things from, from scratch means they are going to write that uh, css code for dark as well as css code for uh, white no they have declared the variable files means if I go and go to inspect let's see is that doing or not I don't know if I go and here you can see I am not able to find that code where they written but definitely they have created something called this theme one and they are using the concept of variable because this is a because this application developed in angular we are not able to see that one but just imagine if I go and click it here you can see that the fraction of second they are changing the side color all these things to develop this kind of stuff they are not they are creating two theme the theme may be one color theme one is a light color another one is dark color based on the user selection they are going to be loading all this class all this class dynamically that you learn in javascript how you can load the style sheet in dynamically okay that is different topic we are not going to discuss okay let me show you something here as i told you can see in this site if you open the site in browser you can see the content is good right but if i going to open the same site in mobile you can see that this application going to behave in different way different way means whatever layout we are designing here the same layout is getting entire changed here now we have a question okay for mobile do i need to develop the same application again means for mobile application mobile devices do i need to design the same ui again means suppose you want to write another html code that is going to work for html that is going to work for tv that is going to work for browser is that true that's no that is not true means you are going to write a single code always remember you are going to write a single code html code CSS code for your website that website is going to behave 
is based on the different different type of screen that screen we called as a viewport okay remember you are not going to design the same website for different different platform platform means web mobile or tv okay what you need to do you have to design your css in such a way that the css is going to detect what is the browser you are using what is the devices you are using based on the devices then what will happen the css is going to be changed it means your element going to be changed then to perform this kind of operation then css there is a concept called media query okay means concept of media media means don't think your media means it's a video or image media means it's going to talk about your screen whatever screen you are displaying right the screen that talking as a media means this entire screen whatever you are seeing here it's called as a media okay and whatever content you are displaying here this is called as a viewport okay we are going to discuss it and everything first just imagine let me repeat it again once more when you are developing any of the application nowadays no one going to develop but but earlier days i am not saying now but earlier days people are developing the application for web same application developing for application for mobile because that time the responsiveness is that not not reach nowadays if you go and use the modern css that the modern css is going to give a capability using that modern css you can develop only once and based on the browser or based on the size suppose you are accessing a mobile tv or your normal computer browser that time what will happen your css your application going to behave based on the css based on the your device example you can see it here i have opened this device in pixel 5 okay let me open the same application in ipad mini okay you can see that guys just imagine difference between you can you can see this top one top one this right hand side okay whatever my mouse cursor is there if i go and change to iphone se or anything sorry uh, pixel 5 you can see that i have only this uh, theme icon another one is the my that called uh, github icon if i change the same thing to suppose ipad ipad means it is little bit more wider than a uh, yeah, normal screen right change to ipad air or ipad mini you can see that now what happening they can able to show me this another three icon right the same thing if i go and change to different 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 type of uh, like devices based on that then it's going to be work that way now you will ask me question do you do i need to write the all do i need to get all the device list means in this world i am going to write the code for that no that is the benefit of css css don't know about what is the devices you are using css know what is the device size you are using okay example let me show you something today we are not uh, just going to discuss about all these things you have to because this is your main part starting means without this you cannot write the uh, different different uh, screen size coding let me say just imagine this is your mobile it's not a mobile actually just but just imagine this is a mobile okay this is your mobile <clears throat> just take down this is your iphone and what happening the same way <clears throat> you are using your tv okay you are using the tv okay your tv and same way we are using your browser hmm. you have to understand all these thing guys first this is a mobile and this is your tv and suppose this is your um, desktop browser desktop and what will do this is suppose your tablet now if you go here in this application you can see that uh, like chrome is giving different different type of 
our um, application means the device name now the what i asked like do i do you will ask me like do i need to write all the programming for different different uh, like mobile or different different type of device no. the question is no because why because you cannot detect what is the mobile you are using what is the browser you are using in your application using css css has no capabilities that they cannot know what is the browser you are using or what is the device you are using but browser knows what is the screen size you are using screen size means just imagine this is your 5 inches mobile or 6 inches mobile okay now there is certain width is there sorry just certain width is there right that is called your screen size okay now so always remember screen size don't think about screen size about height height is scrollable because you can see that this side is scrollable right always remember the size matter in in the the horizontal way always remember your size always matter in the horizontal way not the vertical way because vertical always be scrollable okay means when i talking about any screen size always remember about this x axis means this horizontal means this width okay, got it if i say if anyone say okay uh, set the width for this one means they are talking about this one not this one the height is be always variable because you cannot set a height of something right right because height will be based on the data height is going to increase but in case of in case of like nowadays you have different different type of devices for that our main intention will be width means based on the width we have to do all the things means what i am trying to say it here the css giving a functionality using the css you can able to know the width of a device okay to get a width of a device that the time we require the concept of media means media is going to tell you what is the width of a devices you are using okay the question is is that going to say me okay this is my device this is my device device this is my device no media is not also going to say the device size also the things will be you have to know what size you are focusing now the question how you know that what is the size you focusing okay let me repeat again in css only knows about the width but they don't know about what is your screen width but they can know if the width is 200 pixel what you can do if the width is suppose 180 pixel what you want to do means in css you can write the conditional statement for the different different width based on the width you can write your css coding just give you an example i'll go in depth on that let's give you an example okay You can see this is my one of the uh, page. You can see my the my page background is a little bit green. What my uh, uh, like uh, requirement? If I change this browser to some pixel, then what will happen? I want to change my background color. Just example, simple example. This is my one of these page inside page. What will happen? My width will be something. My width will be whatever width, right? If I go and resize the page after certain resize, if the page is going to beyond that or above that, just imagine beyond that or above that, then what will happen? I need to change some color. Just imagine. You can see this is my browser. Okay. Now let me resize it. Let 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 resize it. You can see that. If I go, okay, you can see that after some width the background got got changed right this is the use of media query means you need to write a media in such a way that after some pixel after some screen width after some like you have to set the mean and the max width based on that you will going to change 
द बिहेवियर ऑफ योर स्टाइल ऑलरेज रिमेम्बर इन स्टाइल शीट यू कैन राइट ओनली द कंडीशन ओके इफ माई साइज विल बी सिक्स हंड्रेड परसेंट एंड सिक्स हंड्रेड पिक्सल एंड लेस देन आई वॉन्ट टू डू दिस इफ माई माई विथ इज लेस देन और ग्रेटर देन समथिंग लाइक दिस एंड टू डू ऑल दिस थिंग्स मीन्स सी एस एस डोंट नो अबाउट दैट व्हाट एवर विथ एंड हाइट यू आर डूइंग दे ओनली नोज वेन यू रिसाइज अबाउट योर स्क्रीन दैट टाइम दैट हुई चबर कोई यू हैव रिटर्न फॉर योर मीडिया दैट इज गोइंग टू इनवोक बेस्ड ऑन द साइज मीन्स इनडायरेक्टली दिस योर सी एस एस नो व्हाट इज योर स्क्रीन साइज फॉर दैट ओनली वेन आई ओपन दिस साइट इन एनी ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन दैट टाइम द ब्राउजर नोज दिस सी एस एस नोज व्हाट इज द स्क्रीन साइज बट he that css is not going to work in that way you have to write your code in such a way based on your screen size you have to set your code clear clear about all this thing media query what is the use of media query means media query means you have to go and write some syntax in such a way based on the screen width based on the screen width it's may be minimum it's may be maximum based on that you want to apply some css right means if you open uh, suppose if you are opening any one you can write you are write, writing for button means anywhere the button is there you want to apply this same style right the same way you will write in a such way suppose if my suppose screen size greater than suppose 600 do something same way if my screen size less than 600 do something means you have to instead of writing this same same like element you have to do a different kind of condition these conditions are called as media query here guys and you can write the multiple condition right if my screen size greater than 600 and less than suppose 800 do something what it to write this kind of code we read the concept of media queries clear now we'll ask how i know what is the screen size for that what will happen in in our web technology there is a different different set of screen size is defined for different different devices people before going to their screen sizes uh, you are clear about the media query right means syntax we have, anyhow we are going to write the syntax but so imagine what is the benefit of what is the use of media query got it right anyone on doubt on this media queries people let me know no. you this media query is the basic of a css if you don't know the basic you cannot going to design the responsive website because nowadays responsive website means you have to write a program and that is going to work in wide different different platform from mobile from web or anything right for that reason what i am trying to say it here you have to understand how what is a media query what is the use of media query and second one is go like what is the screen size how screen size getting calculated okay clear all let's go and discuss about different different screen size okay this is simple kind of programming let me go and discuss different different side of screen, uh, screen okay the screen is divided into not mobile tablet or something like that the screen is divided into different different concept called extra small let me show you something the screen is divided into a divided into extra small by xm then sm small medium just a second eh? other uh, let me show you something media queries suppose uh, index dot test tomorrow we going to write the media query syntax actually but today i have to learn uh, you have to know what is the media query 
equals media. Okay. As you know, the screen is divided into basically because means uh, it's mobile or tablet or your desktop browser, all these things. For that reason, what happens you know, standard wise? The screen is divided into two to th uh, three to four uh, different different part. One is excess. Excess transfer extra small. Second one is SM. SM stand for small medium. Then MD. MD stand for medium device. Then LG large device XLG extra large device people you have to understand this is the screen size is defined each and every screen size that is a width is specified let me go and show you all the screen size width okay let me show you for that if you go to bootstrap site today we're going to start the bootstrap just basic overview bootstrap if you go to doc and there is a customize overview uh, just a second huh? okay you can see okay for about the content all this thing you have to see all this thing sm md lg xl extra large xll fluid and uh, where is our uh, extra small let it be huh extra small will come okay you can see in small medium sm stand for small medium extra small e per device pixel is less than 570 pixel means if whatever browser window opening, if that browser window is less than 570, 576 pixel, they will treat as extra small. Clear? For about all these things, let me discuss one by one. If something is less than, means screen size is less than 570, 76 pixel, it treat as small, means Excel, Excel, whatever. Okay less than 576 pixel same way if something is greater than 570 greater than or equal to 576 and less than 768 it will treat as a small medium small medium means always remember small medium means it's a tablet okay extra small means it's a mobile small medium means it's a tablet md means your browser lg means your large screen means suppose i am using 13 inches suppose 14 inches you are for you using 27 inches that is go for lg and suppose you are using excel and double excel always remember the screen size nowadays our screen is more than 65 inches 70 inches is coming right in that case if you are using for large screen suppose you are developing the application of your tv also right in that case, you can use the container Excel and double Excel. And fluid means always be 100%. Okay. Means as I only I explained this part, but what happened nowadays, the double Excel also there and this fluid also there. Means in our programming, in our programming, actually we are mostly targeted on to LG, up to LG, not Excel and double Excel because we are not developing application for TV. But if you are developing an application for TV and that TV you want to run this all this kind of screen, all this thing media query, then you have to understand this Excel and Excel, X double Excel. Okay. Just imagine if anything less than 576, it will treat as a extra small, greater than 576, small, greater than 70, 768 pixel is a medium, greater than 992 is a large, 120, one, like 1200 is extra large and 1400 is extra extra large okay these are the sites tomorrow we'll go and discuss about how we are going to write a media query 